the power of belief. And you, if you don't believe in yourself, you got a problem with yourself. You lack instant security. That means whatever's going on inside of you is not secured. And of course, if shit is leaking, we're going to see from a distance. We ain't got to really basically stretch or prompt our eyes. We can really see an individual for who they truly are and who they truly is. And of course, we're going to basically pick these vibes up from the individual. So this is going to always put you into a position in where you need to believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, who and what is your purpose? See, don't let society give you a weak ass mentality, a society, my friend, that you just follow on a day to day basis. You could be the sheep that's running the rabbit wheel, or you can get off the wheel and, of course, find out your wheel, find out who you is, because, of course, whoever you is is inside of you. It's the color of these can't see that shit but of course we're not even gonna picture it, it towards colors because black means unseen if you ain't seen and of course you have a problem that means your light is dim and if your light is too dim then of course you in a dark place a dark location a dark space and that space is dark nobody can see it nobody can hear it nobody can sense it nobody can feel it so of course these are the energies that you have inside of you that you're lacking, which means you don't have the right ingredients to go inside you and greed to see who you are, which means just because you're greedy in this world for shit that you see outside of you ain't making you greedy inside of yourself. So, of course, if you ain't got an internal greed, greed then, of course, <clears throat> you're going to be nothing or to society. I'm just going to be a piece of shit to society. Society going to use you as a motherfucking test, an experiment, Look, just like what they're doing right now. And every day is a test. Every day is a test to basically get your power back. Every day is a test to basically find out who you truly is. And of course, the truth lies within you. So if you ain't got your truth, you need to keep finding your truth. And of course, nobody going to know you or know your truth if you, ain't, if you ain't expressing it. And if you ain't expressing your truth, then of course, your truth is basically looking to basically be found by you. And of course, your truth is always going to be pure. And if it ain't pure, then it means it was touched, which means that you're allowing people to basically get to that truth. And of course, you ain't got too much time on your hands. You never know when is your day to basically exercise yourself out this body, which means get deteriorated. And you never know how you're going to die. But of course, you have your own way of leaving this life. You have your own way of shedding. And if you ain't shedding, then that means you ain't leaving your footprints in a sense. Cats shed, feel me? That cat got to shed in some way. Got to shave it. Got to shave it down there. Can't, be have too, can't have too much hair. What happens when you develop too much hair? You start to get uncomfortable in certain areas. So it's always good to shave. Always good to get that, get that, um, that coal. Put that white shit on there. Shave it off. Get, get rid of it. Feel me? Never want to put yourself into a bush. Because, of course, when you become bushy, shit get a little mushy in there. And, of course... This is a position in where if you, as a person, don't believe in what you're trying to create in this world, then, of course, your belief will not work for you. Your words will not work for you. Your words will basically go to a distance and come back down. It means your words, your voice, your um, intentions does not reach above this firmament. And, of course, if you put yourself in a firm, meant which means you're just firm and hard and structure in certain areas. That means the images and the creativity of your mentality is not expanding. And, of course, it's not getting large. And, of course, if you ain't getting large in certain areas, you won't be able to fulfill your kids. And who are your kids? Your kids is who you are with inside of you, which is your inner child. And, of course, if you ain't got an inner child, then, of course, it's what you need to do right now is go get your inner child right back. Because as a child, you came into this world, everything was funzy and gunsy. So, of course, you had the whole world in your hands. You was the world. You was being carried. You was being treated like a god. And, of course, what happens? You age. When you age, things changes. And if, you, and if you're not taking full control over your creativity and finding your way out, you're going to make your way right back into a hell zone. And... 
You don't want to put yourself in the hell zone. You want to fight your way out of that shit day by day. You want to make sure you're putting yourself into a position where you can better off put yourself in a better environment. We always want to be in a better environment, but of course, we're not going to be in a better environment if we're not changing the shit that's going on inside of ourselves. And of course, yourselves is the way you feel, the way you express yourself. And if you ain't express, expressing what's on your mind, if you ain't getting that shit off your chest, it's going to get too hard on your chest. And of course, it's going to create depression. It's going to get too deeply pressed in certain areas. And of course, if shit is too heavy, you can't move. You're like an arthritis bumblebee. And of course, you can't mumble, rumble, like I'm Ali. So, of course, you're going to be in a position where you won't be able to actually exercise, move, flex. And, of course, if you ain't flexing out here, then you ain't going to have no muscle. If you ain't got no muscle, you ain't going to basically be able to muscle through any fucking term oil. Term oil is going to get spilled. And, of course, the oil is going to get taken. Your shine is going to get taken away from you. You're going to be a dry ass glue, which means you got to add a little bit of water in that glue. You got to add a little bit of soap in that motherfucker to basically get things starting to flow again. If your juice is not, if your juice is, if you're not juicing down there, then of course, you got some parasites sucking you dry, sucking your energy. And of course, a whole lot of distractions, a whole lot of shit can suck you dry and leave you tenderless. You don't want to put yourself in that area. You want to put yourself in areas where you can build the courage with inside yourself to keep moving and not allowing no person, place, or thing to construct your movement. Because if your movements is constructed, the motherfucker, you will get neglected. And when you get neglected, you won't be able to have nowhere to unneglect yourself to basically be a representation where you can be connected with someone. And if you ain't connected with yourself, then of course, you got some self-realization to do. And of course, if you ain't willing to basically make that move or take that step, nobody gonna be basically be helping you. You ain't gonna have no help on your hands. Not even the universe can help you. Not even whoever you get on your knees and pray to can help you. Why? Because you don't have no faith within yourself. And of course, if you ain't got yourself, nobody gonna have you. You can cl you can cling on to all these phrases and all these other people that follow shit. But if you ain't following your own step, if you ain't creating your own beat, if you ain't being your own leader, then of course you're gonna get led astray. <clears throat> when you get led astray, it's very hard for you to put yourself back into the position of getting to know who you are, because you were so codependent on a system. That you thought was for you. And it's not for you. It's just you shit. And of course. When too many people. Come into the store. Take all the goddamn food. The system starts to shake. And when the system is shaking. People start dying. People start crying. People start lying. People start frying. People start lying. Lay down. Get down and lay down. And of course. This is a get down and lay down world. So if you ain't getting down. They're going to make sure you try to lay down. That's why every day is a test. Every day is a new situation. Every day is a new way where you can basically build yourself up. And, of course, escape what you don't want to basically be paying attention to. And, of course, remember, what you're paying attention to is what you're paying for. And it's what you're going to basically get out of it. So, if you keep paying, looking for motherfucking areas to be sheltered in that area, the fucking road's going to be waiting for your ass. Fucking mice gonna be waiting for your ass. A cockroach gonna be waiting for your ass. They're gonna be ready to basically make your life a living hell. And of course, if you wanna stay in hell for the rest of your life, keep following the motherfucking monkeys. Cause the monkeys gonna lead you right astray just with the sheep. And the sheep, <laughs> the sheep ain't gonna do shit for you. The sheep is gonna basically tell you get in line, motherfucker. Get in line. So what happens when you keep getting in line and don't create your own line? You fall hard. And when you fall hard, it's hard for you to get back up. Why? Because you ain't got the strength within yourself. You ain't even trying to basically change the narrative. You're just following the pack. The sausage pack. And of course, you a sausage right now. And the pack. Because you about to be a pack that they can sit back and smoke your ass. And of course, you don't want to put yourself in the positioning of experiencing downfalls. Because when you fall so goddamn hard, the mountains is going to be very hard. And for you to climb back that mountain, you got to be a real strong-ass individual to have that strength, that power, that determination, that energy. So, of course, 
energy goes, where attention flows. So, of course, if you ain't got nothing flowing for yourself, you ain't got the right energy, you ain't got the right coverage, you got some self-realization to do. Remember that. And, of course, the power that you look for is always going to be basically what's inside of you. So, never let an individual tell you what you can and cannot do. This is your movie. How is your movie basically going to be narrative? We want to see your name on everything. You need to put your name on everything. You have to be the one that's basically standing in your way. And of course, if you ain't got nothing that's basically standing on, that's what you believe. But always know, you're going to always have the keys to every door. And of course, there may be some certain doors that you may not be able to get through at the moment. But of course, who told you to give up? Because of course, when you give up, you just giving up to someone else. You, you think you're going up to some to another area. You just going to the areas where all the motherfuckers are giving up at. They put you in a row. They put you in a location. They got a location and they got a row for all people that's vibrating in certain areas. So wherever you're vibrating at every day, these are the same people that you share a motherfucking bedroom with. Whoever wherever you're vibrating at, these are the same individuals where you're sharing your shit with. Of course, 10 times out of 10, it needs to be the rats that be in your food. And of course, you don't want no rat in your food. Because when you start to eat that shit, you get poisoned. Now you start ratting. Now you start being the follower. You ain't being the creator. But you are a creator. You just don't know yourself. And of course, if you don't know yourself, you're going to lose yourself. And of course, you got to find yourself. But you got to lose yourself. You got to lose yourself first to find yourself. Of course, sometimes you got to lose yourself. And of course, it's good to lose yourself. Because of course, when you lose, your, lose yourself... And you've been on that path of hardship. This puts you right back up and stronger to remind you. Never follow this path ever again. Because if you keep following that path, that path is going to knock you right off your fucking feet again. And of course, that's why people have chances. And of course, you always going to get a chance. Whether you get a chance through this lifetime or the next lifetime. But remember that shifts, energies, never dies. It multiplies and of course every guy every day and every advantage for yourself to basically take an opportunity to change your life and if you ain't changing your life in areas where it need to be changed and fulfill that you will never meet the promised land because the promised man is so goddamn beautiful and of course it's so lovely and of course it's so caring and so not detriment because of course you never want to put yourself in a detrimental state when you get too detriment you die you don't want to die but you never die. You always gonna fly. You always gonna have wings. Sometimes you may not be able to access your wings, but why is you not accessing accessing your wings all the time? Because the shit that you do out your throughout your day is dictating how much you can handle throughout the day and how much you cannot be able to handle throughout the, through the day. So if you can't handle all the shit that I'm giving you, can't handle all these goddamn gifts, what's the purpose of buying? It's like buying the kids. All these goddamn toys. And you realize they can't handle all this shit, but they wanted it. So you want to basically get them what they can handle or leave them what they can basically handle at the moment. So if you can handle all these goddamn toys and all these responsibilities and basically create a profit out of it, goddamn, I'm going to buy you more because you're going to be getting more. And 10 times out of 10, you may not even have to be relying on me anymore because I can just give you all the power and all the money to have. Why? Because you earned that shit. And fuck money. Money don't mean shit. If you believe money means shit, then of course, you will never amount out to shit because you will never have no creativity. You will always have to put yourself in shoes where you have to work for money. Ten times out of ten, it's supposed to be the different way. Money's supposed to work for you. Money's supposed to be your bitch. And of course, if you ain't making it your bitch, you ain't fucking it right. You ain't fucking the world right. You're fucking the world in the wrong way, in the wrong positions. And of course, you're in the wrong position, the wrong employee. So you need to get yourself out of that position and ASAP. It's cool and good to basically start somewhere, but never put yourself into a position where you're stuck into one area and not moving no more. You don't want to basically become a tree. You want to create more trees so they can move. And basically, when you cut down the old one, this shit can basically be a resource that you can have a come up on. And of course, if you ain't got a come up, then of course, you're going to stumble and fall. And if you stumble and fall, then goddamn fool, get your ass right back up, feel me? Get up, Craig! Get up, Craig! Of course. So, either way, either way you look at it, man, fall his ground. Of course, sometimes you got to fight the, bully, the big bully, and the big bully can be inside of you, controlling you. Of course, if you, ain't got, if you ain't controlling that mind or that internal energy, then of course, you got some mentalities that you need to basically muscle and fumble. And of course, never fumble out here. Make sure your hands is sticky. So when things get sticky, it don't get icky. This way, you won't have the butterfly fingers or the butternut fingers. Or put yourself into a position where you grab something, you forgot how hard you worked for it, and you got comfortable and you lost it. 
Never ever put yourself into a position of basically selling for less. Sell it for more.